My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 82 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be using one stone to key so many bells. For example, in this episode, we are naming organic compounds. Well, the organic compound we are naming here is benzene, which is aromatic compound. In this same episode, we shall be discussing benzene, derivative of benzenes, preparation of benzenes, uses of benzene. In this same episode, we shall be dealing with classification of hydrocarbons. I already introduced it in the last episode. I will highlight it now and I won't do it again on the hydrocarbons. Organic chemistry is divided into hydrocarbon and non-hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbons are compounds that contain carbon and hydrogen alone, while for non-hydrocarbon, they contain carbon, hydrogen and other elements are present. Under hydrocarbons, it is divided into aliphatic and aromatic. Aromatic hydrocarbons are benzene and their derivative, any compound that have the benzene ring. Why aliphatic? They don't have the benzene ring. Aliphatic, on the other hand, is divided into cyclic and acyclic. The cyclic form are example cyclohexane that we drew. They are aliphatic, they don't have the benzene ring, but they are in cyclic form. And they have two hydrogen lesser than the straight chains. Then, for this acyclic, they are the compounds that are not in secular form. They are straight chain and branch chain. Examples of the acyclic compounds, A, C, Y, C, L, I, C. Examples are the arcanes, arcanes, and arcanes. We've done much under all these guys, but we shall dedicate episodes to see their preparation and other things to know about them. Now, benzene. Benzene is a hydrocarbon and it is a compound that has the ring. The formula for benzene itself is c 6 h 6 And benzene was discovered by Michael Faraday in 1825. Michael Faraday discovered benzene in 1825. From the discovery of benzene, a lot of persons try to bring out structure, diagram, try to explain what benzene would look like. A lot of diagrams in him. However, in 1865, August Kekule proposed the acceptable diagram of benzene. All these we are seeing are the acceptable diagram of benzene according to August Kekule. August Kekule says that, or said that, Benzene has alternating double bond, and the double bond can be at any point or any place in time, which I explained in the previous episode. And he explained the concept of resonance in benzene, which means in something like this, you can just draw a circle here to show that the double bond can be anywhere. This is the resonance structure of benzene. Now, you can also draw benzene like this. Carbon with alternating double bond. This is also very correct. In this form, it shows that each of the edges contain carbon and they have one hydrogen. In this form, it shows that it can either be like this or like this. It can either be like this or something like this, where the double bond will start from here, here single, here double, here single. So the double bond can be anywhere. It must not start from here. It can start from here, then here single. But so long it has alternating double bond. To prepare benzene, we use ethyne. Benzene is prepared from ethyne. When you pass ethyne through a hot red tube containing complex organonickel catalyst, you will get benzene. So, 
He tied through organic nickel catalyst, hot complex, organic nickel catalyst. We give you C6H6 benzene. Benzene is a liquid, a colorless liquid. And it has this sweet smell. This is why in perfumes for food addictives, you can use benzene. Similar compounds are esters. Esters, they have so, so sweet and beautiful smell that they are used to make perfumes and anything that requires that sweet odor. So benzene, they are colorless liquid with sweet smell. They are sp2 hybridized. So the hybridization of any compound with double bond is sp2. For arcanes, single bond through as sp3. Arcane, double bond, sp2. Arcane, triple bond, sp hybridized. Now, the reactions of benzene are electrophilic substitution. What is substitution reaction? You know that all these guys, they represent hydrogen. Like before here, here was hydrogen, H. The hydrogen got replaced by C2H5. This is ethane. So, this is substitution. The pair, electrophilic mean pair or species that are electron hungry or they need electron. They just patch on top of the benzene. What are the uses of benzene? The uses of benzene depends on the derivative of benzene. Benzene itself is something like this. Once you add stops to benzene without affecting the structure, they become the derivative of benzene. Apart from substitution reaction, benzene can undergo addition reaction. What is addition reaction? Where you break the bond and you attach your elements. Benzene is always scared of addition reaction. Benzene doesn't want to go undergo addition. In most cases, benzene will not um, accept or will not carry out or will not do addition reaction because addition reaction of benzene we break the ring. So benzene wouldn't want that ring to break. He wouldn't want to have a resonance hybrid to be destroyed. Now, we agree that we can draw benzene like this. We can draw like this. We can draw like this. They are all correct. If you add NH3 to benzene, that means ammonia to benzene, the name becomes aniline. Aniline. And aniline is used for making drugs. Please make sure you stream this on YouTube and make sure you increase the resolution. I recorded this video at a very high quality so you get the best experience. Don't deprive yourself of the beauty of the crystal clear video and everything on the board. So, when two benzene join together like this, it is called naphthalene. And naphthalene is used for making plastic dyes and fear. When NO2 is added to benzene, nitrogen 4 oxide, the name becomes nitrobenzene. Nitrobenzene. Even from the name benzene, you see that it ends in ENE -E to show that the functional group is double bond. Nitrobenzene is used for making oils, drugs, pesticides, and you can use nitrobenzene to, to form or to produce adrenaline. If you add nitride, C double bond to A is the nitride functional group. Once is the get to the to benzene, you get benzo nitride or nitride in simple term. Or it's used glows, you can use that to make it. Once you add OH group to benzene, the product is called phenol. Phenol. So phenol is used to make disinfectants. If you add C2H5 to benzene, you form ethyl benzene. If you add chlorine to benzene, you form chlorobenzene. You can use for dyes, also this for dyes, for rubber, for paint and drugs, which for this as well. If you put CH3 on top of benzene and you add another CH3, a benzene with two different CH3, the name is referred to as xylene. That is the name, xylene. And it is used as solvent in printing, as rubber, and it also has fine application in leather industry. Now, 
for this is the name that expect you to know normally for benzene derivative however from our naming of compound you can call this guy let's say one or you can say ethyl benzene yes one ethyl benzene you will be correct here you can say chloro benzene it's correct you can say one one three dimethyl benzene because you have ch3 methyl group on carbon one you have it on carbon three so that is one three dimethyl benzene that naming will also apply in this case you see this functional group if you add everything here together you will get c o another o and h cooh is the carboxylic group of the oic acid and i told you that when a compound contains the carboxylic group the surface is called oic acid that will be the name to end the compound so here is benzoic acid benzoic acid oic acid they are used as preservative perfumes and dyes and when you add this guy to benzene this is basically c h o c h o or c o h in any case this is alkanal group or aldehyde since this is an aldehyde the name of this compound becomes benzaldehyde they are used in flavoring food and as plastic additives and if you add this guy to benzene you see the term the carbon to double bond oxygen and you see another methyl group so once co is at the middle of compounds that is an alkanone or ketone which we shall see very soon this is called aniso and it is used as solvents and perfumes if you put only one ch3 on top of benzene the result of the compound becomes toluene which is the same thing as methyl benzene they are used as explosives as bends and as glues ladies and gentlemen that is it for benzene and the standard name of benzene derivative these are the standard name make sure you know them and make sure you practice them we are still naming compounds we just use one stone to keep naming best in the next episode naming of organic compounds proceeds continues until as many episodes as possible so that is it for it get the flash learner jam app begin to play with questions practice watch these videos over and over again subscribe to this channel tell your friends about the channel if you have personal issues or something to discuss with me reach out to me directly on my other social platform i am flash isaac and flash learners they are my user name take care for thyself <laughs>